Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today, even though it is a little late, I am going to um, smell all of the new fall and winter fragrances and give you my opinion on them and read you the descriptions from the catalog. Um, I know it's late, but I lost all the videos that I was planning on uploading onto my YouTube channel. So I have to redo them all. So I'll probably be wearing the same thing in all of these videos. <laughs> so just so you know. Okay, so first off, let's start with Duchess. And in the catalog, Duchess is this red color. In the tester, it's kind of like a light purple. But they must have had like a last minute wax color change. Okay. Now this actually, I don't know if this is good or bad, but um, Duchess actually reminds me of my dad. There was this cologne that he used to wear, um, and I believe it's called Fahrenheit. Um, but it smells just like my dad. Um, but it is, so obviously, I really, really like this scent because it brings back a lot of really good memories. And my dad smells really good, so. Um, it is opulent and daring, this bold blend of green mandarin, golden birch, chic vetiver, and sweet creamy caramel is a diva in the making. Now, if my dad sees this video, he's probably going to be like, you're comparing me to a scent that is described as a diva in the making, which when I smelt it. I hadn't even, when I smelled it for the very first time at Reunion, I had never even read the description of it. I just smelled it, and I was like, oh my god, that smells like my dad. Oops. Next. <laughs> it is Cashmere Pear. I don't know if you guys can see. Camera is weird. Um, cashmere pear, pear, <laughs> smells like a high-end perfume. Um, if they made this into a perfume, I would absolutely buy it. And I, I can't smell it with a top on. Um, and I don't wear perfume a lot. I wear more body sprays, but I would wear this every day. So Cashmere Pear is described as slip into sensual white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warmed red ginger. A blend as smooth and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. It even smells expensive. So your house can smell like a celebrity lives there. And you only pay $5 for a bar. Just saying. Next is Bergamot Bay. It reminds me of Christmas. As soon as I smell it, I think of Christmas and walking through all of the... Um, like going through your local department store and walking through the trees and the decorations and stuff. This is what, it's what it smells like. And perfect for me because I can't have a real Christmas tree. My husband is allergic to it. So, I have to rely on Scentsy. And I don't mind. So, Bergamot Bay. Classic. Bergamot is captured beautifully in this outdoorsy, eye-opening scent, accented by crisp notes of juniper berry, bay leaf, and white sandalwood. Now, before 
this catalog season, I honestly had never even heard of Juniper Berry. Never. I don't know. <laughs> I was just deprived. I, I, I've never heard of it. Next is Blueberry Rush. Now, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, you know that I just wore this like a week ago and I'm absolutely in love. I love Blueberry Rush. It smells so good. It reminds me of the Blue Raspberry Airheads and the, the Blue Twin Pops, the ones that you like take and rip apart. It's exactly what that reminds me of. And my husband hates blueberry cheesecake. I love blueberry cheesecake, but my husband does not. But when he came in and this was warming, he didn't tell me to take it out, so I guess that works. So, Blueberry Rush. A sweet surge of ripe blueberry leaves a luscious bouquet of lively cranberry, black currant, and pomegranate. I smell lots and lots and lots of blueberry. Next is Highway Run. I don't know if you can really see it. I don't think you can see it. Um, smells like a really clean man. <laughs> I don't know if my husband would appreciate me talking about really good smelling men. <laughs> but he watches my YouTube channel, so he'll tell me. I don't know. It smells like super clean and I really really like this so highway run toss the map and go where the wind takes you as crisp adventurous notes of eucalyptus bud cedar amber and vetiver grass lead the way well as long as it's my husband and he smells like that he can take me anywhere okay maybe not anywhere but you get what I'm saying Next is Ode to Opulence. Oh, please. Please don't look at my nails. Ode to Opulence. Mm. I smell apricot. And some yummy yumminess. It is described as lavish your senses with the sweet evocative aroma of apricot, blood orange, coconut milk, black currant, and spiced vanilla. I definitely smell the apricot. Let me see if I can see. Smell some of the vanilla. Oh man. I don't know. That apricot smells pretty strong in there. It's not like super like overpowering strong, it's, but that's the strongest scent. Oh, next is Autumn Sunrise. And we do have another one called Autumn Sunset. So. Mmm, it smells so good. It's got a spicy, cinnamony note. It smells like a citrus of some sort. It is described as 
a warm blend of tart pomegranate, raspberry, nutmeg, and spiced cinnamon stick pairs perfectly with chilly fall mornings. It also pairs really well with autumn sunset. I am definitely going to try warming this in the morning time and then autumn sunset in the evening time and see how that goes. Next is frosted white birch. Peppermint. Pine. That's what I smell. Peppermint and pine. A cool breeze of peppermint frost, eucalyptus, and lavender gently warms to blonde woods, fir needle, and amber. So I'm going to the fir needle that I was smelling. Next is Tahitian Black Orchid. This is glare. Working in my favor. Hmm. I don't know. It's like a... It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's really hard for me to explain. A seductive tapestry of black orchid, obviously. Dark plum, coconut milk, and white rose weave a mysterious tale full of sweet surprises. Now, uh, I will say that even if you don't like really sweet smells, I think you will like this. It smells really, really good. Next is sugared cherry. What is it doing? Oh, probably because my computer screen. Maybe. I don't know. Cherries. Sweet. That's not that sweet. Sweet cherries. And it is described as savor the changing seasons as frosted cherry and Concord grape are sweetened by a pop of pomegranate, vanilla, sugar, and candied apple. I do smell candied apple. Candied apple. I do. Uh, next is apple s'mores. Now, if you know me, you know that I love s'mores. I love chocolate. Apple s'mores. It smells like what you think an apple s'more would smell like. You can smell the graham cracker and the marshmallow and apples obviously. And I don't think there's any in there but it, like, it smells like there's chocolate in there. I don't know how they do this. Harvest apples, cinnamon glaze, and a drop of coconut milk lend a tantalizing twist to classic toasted marshmallow, vanilla cream, and warm cedar wood. I'm telling you, it smells delicious. It's delicious. It makes me want to try some apple s'mores. So maybe I'll find a recipe on Pinterest. Next is juniper berry, that thing I have never heard of. Smells like Christmas. I don't. I don't know how else to explain it, but it it smells like it should be Christmas. It 
is described as this luscious blend of black raspberry, lemon peel, and bergamot with a hint of earthy balsam is clean and crisp like the first taste of autumn. Well, then I should be warming this today. It is very clean and crisp, though. So, perfect. Next is Woodland Suede. And I will let you know, I do not like musky smells. I don't really care for manly cologne scents. But this Woodland Suede, before I even smelt it, I was like, okay, well, I'm probably not going to like it. I do. I really like it. And I don't know why. Something about it. Actually. It kind of reminds me of my groundhog. But, oh, woodland suede. Smells really, really good. It is described as retreat to a tranquil wooded wonderland, redolent with red oak, smoky cedar, suede musk, and bright winter lemon. It smells really, really good. I like it. I don't think there's one that I don't like. Oh, next is Run Raisin Cookie. I can definitely smell the, like a brown sugar, raisin, a rum. Definitely smell it. Freshly baked cookie dough, sumptuously spiced with rum, raisin, and clove, will transport you to the corner bakery. It didn't transport me anywhere. Let's go here. It smells really good, though. It smells like you just walked into a bakery. And last is Davenport. Oh, now you can see it. Another one that I swear smells like a man. <laughs> smells like a, a wood of some sort. but not too manly, too woodsy. The warmth of cardamom, amber, and vanilla, complemented by artemisia and sandalwood, create a comforting, cozy fragrance. Smells really good, too. So, that is it for the fall and winter new releases. Um, I will go through and let you know what is returning um, after I introduce the new four kids scents. So we have section. We have Berry Bubble Blue. A delicious blast of blue raspberry, tart green apple, and spun sugar will brighten up bath time, bedtime, anytime. It smells really good. It's not really strong. It's a light scent. Um, that one and this next one that I'm about to tell you about, they're really, really light scents. They are not strong. Next is Candy Dandy. It's 
smells so good. And it smells sweet. Almost sweet enough to eat. Kids will go gaga for this delicious candy-scented concoction of mango, lemon drops, and creamy vanilla. I like it. Next is wild watermelon. Can you guess what it smells like? Watermelon. Uh, it smells like the um, bubblicious watermelon bubblegum. It's exactly what it smells like. Your little wild one will love this fun and fruity fragrance, bursting with ripe watermelon, green apple, and scrumptious sugared pineapple. Just like bubblicious bubblegum watermelon. Next is jammy time. Now we love this. We got this. Um, I just purchased this in a bath smoothie for my boys, and we did have candy dandy. We're not even finished with candy dandy yet, and we wanted to use jammy time because I think it relaxes them and smells really good. very very calming i highly suggest this for kids rooms and in the bath smoothie help kids drift into dreamland with the soothing blend of baby freesia lavender and sweet pea perfect for bedrooms and evening baths which is absolutely true i think that it is it's perfect um so that is it for all of our brand new scents. Um, if you want to try any of them out for yourself, you are more than welcome to purchase them from my website. The link will be in the description box below. And finally, for the fall and winter and holiday scents that are coming back, I will let you know what those are. I'm not going to go through and... Um, read their descriptions uh, right now. If you want me to, just comment below and I will make a separate video. Um, so, fall and winter returning scents are pomegranate pear, cinnamon bear, orange amber, cider mill, pumpkin marshmallow, mandarin moon, autumn blaze maple, honey pear cider, pumpkin roll, everything nice, cedar cider, very snowy spruce, white out, Autumn Sunset, and Boho. Now our returning holiday scents are Cozy Fireside, Christmas Cottage, Very Merry Cranberry, Clove and Cinnamon, Peppermint Dreams, Snowberry, Silver Bells, Winter Pine, Ice Pine, and Eskimo Kiss. So if you love any of the returning scents, you can purchase them now, um, and you will have them in time for the holidays, and today is the first day of fall, so what better way to celebrate the first day of fall than putting in a new fall, winter, or returning fall, winter, or holiday scent. So, if you have any questions or would like to know more, about our new products, scents, um, please leave a comment below and I will get right back to you. If you would like to purchase anything that you heard about today, you are more than welcome to go to my, um, my website. It will be down in the description box, but it is KimberlyFouts.Sensi.us and that is it for this video. Um, I will see you guys for my next one, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye!